Om Shanti. Today is Sunday, the 5th of November, 2023. On this Sunday morning, let us listen to the Avyakt Bab Dada's Murli, which was originally held on 10th of March, 1996. The essence of today's Avyakt Murli is experience of the Karmati stage by remaining aware of Karanhar and Karavanhar. So, let's hear the essence of the Sunday morning's Avyakt Bab Dada's Murli. It says, experience of the Karmatit stage by remaining aware of Karanhar and Karavanhar. Om Shanti. Baba says, today, the benefactor father is seeing his benefactor children who are his companions. All of you children are engaging yourselves in the task of world benefit with a lot of deep love. Seeing such companions, Bab Dada constantly sings the song, Wah, my children, Wah, Wah. All of you also continuously sing songs of Wah, Wah, do you not? Today, Bab Dada saw the speed of service everywhere. Along with this, he also saw the speed of effort for yourself. So, what would Bab Dada have seen in the speed of service? and of effort for yourself. Do you know this? Is the speed of service fast or is the speed of effort for yourself fast? Which is faster? Bab Dada is asking us. Is there a balance of the two? Do you not have this balance? So, when will you world transform our souls and the elements receive blessings? Because only when you have this balance will others receive the blessings that you have received. So, why is there this difference? What are you called? So, Baba is asking us today regarding the speed of service or the speed of effort for yourself. Which one is faster? Baba asks us, what are you called? Are you karma yogis or just yogis? What are you? You are karma yogis, are you not? Are you sure? So, what is service? It is karma, is it not? When you perform any action, when you speak or give drishti, when you are giving courses or explaining at the museums, all of those are elevated actions, that is, they are service. So, to be a karma yogi means to have that balance of yoga when performing karma. So what is a karma yogi? Baba says it means to have a balance of yoga when performing karma. However, you yourself say that your balance decreases. What is the reason for the balance decreasing? You also know this very well. It is nothing new. It is something very old. Bab Dada saw that in order to keep a balance between service and karma and effort for the self, that is yoga, Especially, remember one word. What is that word? The father is Karavanhar, that is, the one who acts through others. And I, a soul, am not so and so, but I, a soul, am Karanhar, that is, one who acts. So, the father is Karavanhar and I, a soul, am Karanhar. The father is one who acts through others and I am the one who acts. Therefore, the word Karan Karavanhar will enable you to have this balance very easily. What is the reason why your balance or speed of effort for yourself decreases? Instead of having the awareness of Karanhar, you think I am getting this done. Instead of being Karanhar, you consider yourself to be Karavanhar and think that I am doing this. So, Whatever type of maya it is that comes, through which gate does she come through? So, Baba is asking us to check our maya and see which gate does she come through. Baba says, you already know the easiest gate of maya, it is I. You have not completely closed this gate as yet. You close it in such a way that maya is easily able to open it and enter through it. If you were to be Karanhar, you would definitely remember the one who is inspiring you to do it. 
I am doing this, but it is the Father who is inspiring me to do it. Without Karavanhar, you cannot become Karanhar. You need to have the awareness of Karavanhar in a double way. One is the Father who is Karavanhar and secondly, I, a soul, am the one who acts through these physical organs. So, what are the two ways in which we have to have the awareness of Karavanhar? One is the Father who is Karavanhar and secondly, I, a soul, am the one who acts through these physical organs. By doing this, while you are performing actions, you will not be influenced either in a good way or a bad way. This is known as the Karmatit stage. So what did Baba explain about the Karmatit stage? Baba says, have the awareness of the Karavanhar and the Karanhar in a double way. Baba says, you need to have the awareness of Karavanhar in a double way. One is the father who is Karavanhar and secondly, I, a soul, am the one who acts through these physical organs. By doing this, while you are performing actions, you will not be influenced either in a good way or a bad way. This is known as the Karmatid stage. So today, Baba is asking us, what is the aim of all of you? You wish to become Karmatid, do you not? Do you think it doesn't matter if a little bondage of karma still remains? Should it remain or not? Do you wish to become Karmatid? The sign of love for the father is to become Karmatid. Therefore, perform actions as a Karavanhar. Perform actions and enable actions to be performed. Let it not be that your physical organs make you perform actions, but that you make your physical organs perform actions. Enable actions to be performed while you are completely detached. What is Baba telling us? Enable actions to be performed while you are completely detached. Let this consciousness emerge and not be merged. When you have this merged, then instead of being Karavanhar, you sometimes become influenced by your organs, which are the mind, the intellect and the sanskars. What is the reason for this? I, a soul, am Karavanhar. I am the master. I am a master, almighty, authority, soul. This awareness makes you aware of being a master. Otherwise, sometimes your mind rules you and sometimes you rule your mind. This is why you are not constantly able to have a natural Manmanabhav stage. I am totally separate. I am not just separate, but I am the master. When I remember the father, I am a child. And when I am the soul who is enabling actions to be performed, I am the master. So what are the two things that Baba is telling us now? We need to be careful and pay attention on this aspect. Baba says, sometimes your mind rules you and sometimes you rule the mind. This is why you are not constantly able to have a natural Manmanabhav stage. I am totally separate. I am not just separate, but I am the master. When I remember the father, I am a child. And when I am the soul who is enabling the actions to be performed, I am the master. You don't pay so much attention to having this practice. Baba says you are very well engaged in doing service. But what is your aim? Is it of becoming a server or of becoming karmatit? Or will you become both at the same time? Do you have this firm practice? Are you able to practice this for a short time? Are you able to separate yourself? Or have you become so attached that you need time to become detached? In how much time are you able to become detached? Do you want 5 minutes or 1 minute or 1 second? Baba asks us, are you able to become detached in a second? Pandavas, are you able to become totally separated in a second? I, a soul, the master, am separate from any physical organs, my workers. Practice this whenever you want. What should we practice? I, a soul, the master, am separate from any physical organs. 
my workers we have to practice this whenever we want acha now in one second become detached and loving to the father baba says have a very powerful practice of i am detached these physical organs are my companions they are my companions while i perform actions but i am loving and detached now practice this in a second baba made them do this drill baba asks is this easy or is it difficult if it is easy then throughout the entire day while performing actions let this awareness emerge and you will easily be able to experience the karmatit stage are you able to stop doing service or performing action would you be able to stop that you have to do that even to sit in tapasya is to perform an action so you cannot stay without performing action or serving in fact you mustn't stay without it because you have very little time and a lot of service still remains to be accomplished the form of service has changed baba says however even now many souls still have complaints this is why you must have the balance of service and the effort for yourself so baba tells us that you cannot stay without performing action or serving in fact you mustn't stay without it because you have very little time and a lot of service still remains to be accomplished so baba says the form of service has changed however even now many souls still have complaints this is why you must have the balance of service and the effort for yourself let it not be that because you were so busy doing service your effort for yourself was lacking no in fact while doing service you need to pay greater attention to making effort on yourself because maya has a lot of margin in many ways to come to you while you are serving it may be called service but it would really be your own selfishness you wish to make yourself progress but while progressing you must not forget to have a balance because it is in doing service that there is the expansion of nature and relationships and maya also looks out for an opportunity baba says when your balance decreases even slightly maya adopts many new forms she would not come to you in the same old form she would come to you in new forms in the form of new situations and new connections if bab dada were to release you from doing service and make you sit somewhere for a month or even 15 days would you become karmatit baba is asking us if you were given one month not to do anything but just sit down and have tapasya or even cook just once would you be able to become karmatit would you not be able to become karmatit if you do not practice keeping a balance then let alone just one month even if you were to sit for two months although your body would sit your mind would not be able to sit so what is baba telling us you have to make your mind sit not just your body as well as your body you also have to make your mind sit just sit down you and i and none other would you be able to have such tapasya for a month or would you remember service bab dada and the drama continually show you that service has to increase day by day so how can you sit down when you compare the service you were doing last year with that of this year has it increased or decreased baba asks us it has increased has it not even against your wish you are bound in doing service however by having a balance instead of it being a bondage of service there would be a relationship of service just as in worldly relationships you understand that there are karmic bondages and also relationships of service you will not then experience any bondage but just a sweet relationship of service so what attention will you keep paying the balance of service and the effort on yourself so what is the crux of today's murli baba says the balance of service 
and the effort on yourself do not go into the extremes of service it is not that i alone have to do it i alone can do it no the one who inspires you to act is inspiring you to do it and you are just an instrument who is karanhar the one who is acting so while having that responsibility you will not get so tired some children say i have done a lot of service and so i am tired and my head has become heavy instead of your head becoming heavy karavanhar baba will give you a very good massage and your head will become even fresher you will not experience any tiredness and you will have extra energy when bodies are able to receive energy from the medicine of science can souls not receive energy by having the remembrance of the father let's hear this line again what is baba telling us when bodies are able to receive energy from the medicine of science can souls not then receive energy by having the remembrance of the father when energy comes to souls it automatically influences the bodies you have experienced this you sometimes have this experience then while moving along you sometimes change your direction and are no longer aware of anything when unhappiness comes or your head becomes heavy you then become aware and you wonder what happened why did it happen therefore simply remember these words karanhar and karavanhar is this difficult or easy say haan ji acha now baba is asking us have you created the population of 9 lakhs how many have you created in the foreign lands have you created 9 lakhs how many have you created in bharat have you created this many in bharat you have not so you are not allowing the needle of completion to move forward therefore keep a balance baba says this is the year of the diamond jubilee and so you have to do a lot of service however do service while keeping this balance and subjects will be created very quickly it will not take any time matter and the elements have become very tired and souls have become disheartened and whom do they remember when they are disheartened they remember god the father however because of not having his full introduction they remember you deities a lot more so are you not able to hear the calls of the disheartened souls so what is baba telling us they remember god but because of not having his full introduction that is the father's full introduction they remember the deities a lot more baba asks us are you able to hear them or are you so caught up with your own selves you are merciful are you not what do you call the father merciful people of all religions ask for mercy they definitely ask for this they may not all ask for happiness but they all want mercy so who will give them this you are bestowers are you not or are you those who take baba is asking us are we bestowers or are we those who take you are those who receive and who then give to others you are the children of the bestower therefore become merciful to your brothers and sisters and when you do service while being merciful there will automatically be the feeling of being an instrument so let's hear this wonderful line again baba says you are the children of the bestower therefore become merciful to your brothers and sisters and when you do service while being merciful there will automatically be the feelings of being an instrument no matter how bad someone is if you have mercy for that soul you would never have any feelings of dislike jealousy or anger for that soul the feeling of mercy easily brings about the feeling of being an instrument so let's hear that again baba says the feeling of mercy easily brings about the feeling of being an instrument it should not be mercy based on selfishness but true mercy there is mercy based on your own motives too internally you may have attachment to a certain soul but you think that you are having mercy for that soul 
therefore that is selfish mercy not true mercy so what is baba telling us the difference between selfish and true mercy it is mercy should not be based on selfishness but true mercy like internally at times baba says you may have attachment to a certain soul but you think that you are having mercy for that soul that is selfish mercy not true mercy there cannot be any attachment no body consciousness in true mercy the soul has mercy for another soul there would not be any body consciousness or name or trace of any physical attraction some have attachment to a body and some have attachment to someone's virtues or specialities however who gave those specialties or virtues to that one no matter how great those souls are they still receive it from the father it is not yours the father has given it to you so why should you not take it directly from the bestower this is why it is said that it should not be selfish mercy baba says many children show a lot of mischief it would be their own selfish motives and yet they say that they are feeling mercy for someone that they don't feel anything else just mercy however now check do you have selfless mercy do you have mercy that is free from attachment it is not mercy because of some temporary attainment is it you would then say she is very good he is very good and this is why there is a little you don't have permission to have even a little of that feeling if you wish to become karmatit all of those are obstacles all of those things make you body conscious they may be good but who made them like that you may imbibe their goodness but do not be influenced by their goodness so what is baba telling us in this sentence let's hear that again you may imbibe their goodness but do not be influenced by their goodness baba says be detached and remain loving to the father those who are loved by the father are constantly safe do you understand baba says as you are increasing the service you do and you do have to increase it then do you also wish to bring establishment closer or not who will bring it closer will the father bring it will all of you bring it you are companions are you not without you children his companions the father alone cannot do anything if the father wishes to explain something he has to take the support of a body can he speak without the support of a body is he able to speak baba asks us whether the car is old or good he still has to take the support of it he cannot do anything without some support it is only when he took the support of father brahma that you then became brahmins you are called brahma kumars and not shiv kumars the incorporeal father has to take the support of the corporeal just as he took the support of corporeal brahma would he even now be able to sustain you without taking the support from the avyakt angelic form of brahma whether he takes the support of the corporeal form or the angelic form he has to take the support and company of the soul in fact he is the almighty authority and so if a magician is able to show a perishable trick in a second can the almighty authority not do what he wants would he be able to do it would he be able to bring about destruction now if he wanted to can he bring this about all by himself baba himself answers and says baba alone cannot do anything by himself even though he may be the almighty authority he is bound to all of you companions let's hear that again baba says even though he may be the almighty authority he is bound to all of you companions therefore the father has so much love for all of you if he wanted to he could do it but he does not do it can he not wave his magic wand however the father says who would claim a right to the kingdom would the father claim this right you will become this 
even if he were to carry out establishment and bring about destruction who is going to rule would he be able to do anything without you this is why the father has to make all of you karma teet you have to become this or should the father make you this by force the father has to make you this and all of you have to become this so the father has to make us this and we all of us have to become this this is the sweet drama you are enjoying the drama are you not baba asks us or do you sometimes become distressed and think what has been created do you think that it should change the father also says this drama is predestined drama it cannot be changed it has to repeat but it cannot be changed within the drama you have all the powers in this last birth of yours it is in the drama but in this last elevated brahmin birth you have received many powers the father willed them to you and you therefore have this will power how do we have this the father willed them to you and you therefore have this will power so what will you remember which word will you remember karan karavan har are you sure baba asks or will you forget it when you get on the planes don't forget this do not forget this baba says now once again stabilize yourselves have the karmati stage of being beyond the bondage of your bodies you may be the one having actions performed but stay detached you may be seeing everything you may be speaking but do this while being detached each of you is a master and a soul who has been made an instrument by the father stabilize your minds and intellects in this awareness once again baba once again carries out the drill acha to the serviceable souls everywhere who constantly maintain zeal and enthusiasm for doing service to the blissful souls who constantly keep their balance of doing service and making effort for themselves to the special souls who constantly have selfless mercy who have true mercy for all souls to the intense effort making souls who make themselves constantly free from any karmic bondages and the many royal bondages in a second to such souls bab dadas love remembrance and namaste and we the spiritual children also say namaste to our spiritual father today's blessing may you experience the father's help and his blessings by being obedient and become an embodiment of success blessing once again baba says may you experience the father's help and his blessings by being obedient and become an embodiment of success baba explains the father's order is remember me alone remember me alone the one father is your world and so let there be nothing in your heart apart from the father one direction one strength one support where there is the one there is success in every task for such a soul it is easy to overcome any situation the children who are obedient and follow the father's orders receive his blessings and so even anything difficult becomes easy finally the slogan for today be aware of your new brahmin life and no old sanskar can emerge slogan once again be aware of your new brahmin life and no old sanskar can emerge acha om shanti